In more newsy stuff, uh, Le'Veon Bell obviously has been cut. Everybody knows it by now. Um, he made $28 million in just 18 games with the Jets. Uh, evidently, they had, several, they had several interested trade partners. However, in the end, nobody wanted to cough up for that contract. So the Jets had to bite the bullet and cut him. Um, unbelievable. So. We have quite a little horse race developing for the services of Le'Veon Bell with the Chiefs as the very early favorites. He actually already uh, follows Patrick Mahomes on Twitter, sent him a follow uh, on Wednesday night. So eh, evidently they're just kind of working out the details. There's four more teams that are horse jockeying to get his services and to get him under contract, but I just am not sure how I, I don't know. Do you think he do you think yeah, he signs so, with the Chiefs? So it, it 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 looks like the five teams. If he doesn't sign with the Chiefs, it's gonna be between the Bears, Raiders, Patriots, and Dolphins. Um obviously if he if he signs with the Chiefs, uh Clyde Edwards whole air value uh mm-hmm. drops uh, significantly uh, before we came on the pod, uh, Jason actually traded Clyde uh, for Tyreek Hill um, just on the off chance that Lev Bell does sign with the Chiefs. Um, so if you're a Clyde owner um, and he signs with the Chiefs, you that that would just suck. That's a first round pick, maybe early second round pick that all of a sudden doesn't really have a whole lot of value potentially. Um, Bears, you're worried about him taking away from Monty or It'd be interesting to see how much they do uh, continue to use Cordero Patterson in the backfield. Their Raiders, obviously, that would hurt Josh Jacobs' value uh, significantly. Patriots, I mean, just add them to the smorgasbord of uh, of running backs there. And then Dolphins, Gaskins um, would, would be impacted the most. And I think you would definitely see Jordan Howard get cut uh, if they did sign Love Bell. So... Um, those are kind of the five teams. Um, the report is that he's going to sign either tonight after we're on recording or early tomorrow when this is dropping. Um, so I, I think if you're a bell owner, you're actually happy that he got cut. Um, for the Jets, I, I guess you're just going to roll roll out the carpet with with Frankie Gore, uh, who I did say would be fantasy relevant before the season started. And here we are starting running back week six, the ageless wonder Frank Gore. So, yeah, it'll it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, actually, um, Chiefs player Chris Jones actually posted a video on social media with Le'Veon Bell in it, screaming, what if, hashtag what if, at the Chiefs, let's go, at Le'Veon Bell. And it's him and Le'Veon Bell hanging out, screaming about Le'Veon Bell signing with the Chiefs. So we'll see if they're able to come to a deal. It would absolutely destroy, I think, Clyde Edwards Hilaire's fantasy value for the season uh Clyde Edwards Alaire is 0 for 7 at the goal line so far this season I mean that's the one thing that's really missing six of those series were week one though that's the one thing that's really missing from his game uh so far in the season he's produced you know he's he's getting 100 total yards in every game he just hasn't been able to push the ball over the goal line and get into the end zone I think Le'Veon's going to struggle just the same, quite honestly. I just think that that offensive line isn't exactly where it needs to be in terms of moving D lines off of goal line, off of the goal line and whatnot. When everybody's selling out, you got a stacked box. Um, Lev Bell, I think he's a favorite for the Chiefs. If I had Clyde Edwards Elaire, I would be doing everything I can to try and probably trade him for something of equal value. Like Alex said, I actually moved him for Tyreek, which is not equal value if Edwards Alaire is the only running back there this season. But if Lev Bell is there and Lev Bell is getting the red zone goal line work, I think it's a steal of a deal. So good luck yep. to all of our Clyde Edwards Alaire managers out there. And Sam Darnold has to just be like crying in a corner as he sees Le'Veon Bell and Jamal Adams escape to freedom. <laughs> From from Hello, Adam Gaseland, my old friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, man. 
Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry, I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.